Good day, everyone, and welcome again. Uh, before we start, we're not your financial advisor. Please uh, be aware of risk in any kind of trade, and whether crypto, future, um, forex. Uh, we're not your financial advisor, but uh, we've had a lot of people uh, requesting by emails and uh, to cover a little bit about crypto i try to avoid that sometimes we cover that in uh, our trading room uh, but uh, today we had a lot of requests and um, actually it is um, i try to stay away from it uh, i don't want to get into it there is a plenty out there doing it but what we oh let me share just my experience you know uh, you know, we all know how Bitcoin's flies on the news and everything. We're not going to argue with that. And uh, we had today the the signals earlier today uh, about uh, the the crypto and with the confirmation and the reentry price and where is the targets. But it doesn't matter in that. Um, let me uh, give you the, the 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 levels, the professional levels. Despite the rumors, despite everything out there, some people are going short. They want to scare the traders, and some people don't want to go long. Some people buy on the dip. But here is the problem. A lot of people uh, don't know where is the dip. They don't know where it is the, 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 uh, the, the key point to enter. And our software, it is... Uh, Doing this for 27 years, we know, uh, and uh, in my experience, what I have seen, the some of the traders with the crypto, uh, uh, they are not an ex-future traders, where what we are seeing in the crypto, we have seen it on the ES for many years. There is nothing surprising about the market. And uh, many times in our trading in the ES, uh, you are positioning yourself. Somebody said something in Japan and the ES drop. So you can see the fears or the miscalculation in the trading because they are new traders. And, uh, and they have not seen the real action in the market when the market take it down. So... Uh, because they we have a lot of requests so today i'm gonna go ahead and give you the levels and i hope uh, that can ease out uh, some of the nervous traders uh, first of all on the bitcoin i i uh, in the trading there is of course two things here there is fundamental and technical and uh, the biggest mistake we have seen in the bitcoin and uh, some other crypto is uh, conjunction with fundamental and technical they don't work together you either want to go ahead chase news and we all know on the there is a lot of fake news and there is a lot of good news we don't want to mess in this area but I strongly advise to those traders to stay technical and brush off the rumors comes in from the multimedia uh, one of the experience I want to share with you all for the crypto traders uh, that uh, the only time uh, I mean I've been trading for 27 years uh, the only time we made money in the stocks when we turn off the television news so with the with the crypto um, um, I stay concentrating on levels and I don't uh, and I took all the multimedia news away from the crypto, all of it, because I have measured the news. I've been doing this, uh, I've been studying it for six months, and I measured the news and the reaction in the crypto. Of course, there is an impact. And then I concentrate on the technical side, and I find out the technical side winning over the rumors on the bitcoin nobody knows where the bitcoin is gonna go uh, in one year 
Uh, I don't believe in pattern, uh, which a lot of crypto, because in the in the pattern, uh, you can use any time frame to get it uh, fixed. So how you are trading is what is your time frame, and I strongly advise uh, to to concentrate more on the technical level. Avoid indicators. Indicators follow the market, does not give you a prediction. And uh, you see a lot of kids out there uh, drawing and blah, 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 which it is immediately you spot it. They have not seen hell and back in the trading. And uh, we have seen it for many years. And uh, until you become more technical than uh, driving uh, on the rumors, here's the situation when I brush off the news and uh, let me explain to you what is going to happen, which we have done this in the room and the, on the other channel, and we always spot it 9 out of 10. I even challenged some other uh, uh, big companies. They tried to give prediction and they fell, and we nailed it. So the, the, the whole thing here is what I find out uh, in the crypto for the last six months, I've been monitoring that that you cannot trade the crypto or the Bitcoin. And let me explain to the traders something about uh, those crypto people. What you have in the crypto is the same thing what we have on the future trading. In the future trading, uh, our best, our best um, indicator is the ES, where on the ES future presenting the 500 company. And then what I do normally on the future trading, the ES is given the signal for the whole industry. So where, when, when I can predict the ES, you find out uh, that the whole market follow that. And what I have found out in the Bitcoin, despite some of the other cryptocurrency, they move up and down based on rumors. And uh, I don't wanna, um, I don't wanna call a single name on the crypto. I don't wanna get involved in it. The last two weeks has been a lot of multimedia about one crypto. And right now uh, that crypto got blocked and now the price is 121 and uh, on the price. What I have found out in the crypto, no matter how much the rumors can drive other crypto up or down, at the end you will see when they take in a profit, that crypto lines up with the Bitcoin. So the Bitcoin, it is like the ES future market where it's the best signal in the house despite the other small crypto uh, based on rumors. Maybe some some crypto uh, is going to uh, get 100%, 2x, 3x, 4x. That is irrelevant to the trade and you have to be consistent and looking at the bigger gorilla what is doing because what we notice here on the on the Bitcoin, when the Bitcoin drop, everything goes down. When the Bitcoin goes up, everything goes up. So it's irrelevant that rumors and the noises on a small crypto, most of them that will not survive. Most of them, they are driven by rumors. And there is only a few, which I agree to some of the multimedia they're talking about. And, and I don't believe in those other crypto, but let me give you what's going on in the, in the Bitcoin uh, levels. What we're looking at at uh, one minute, uh, one day, the first things in the crypto, you have to look at the one day and then the smaller time frame to pinpoint where is the entry. What, I, what is our prediction? We're not, again, we're not your financial advisor, but we are trying to share and we are trying to help uh, other traders for free. As you see on the daily chart, this is the bottom on that market and if we look here there is a, a huge support level here indicate 
that the support area on that Bitcoin, despite all the measurement and the, the everything in there, this is the, the bottom for today on the uh, on the on the Bitcoin, where there is a huge potential here for a buy. Not to be scared. This is a very good. The reason is, if we if we look at it at the bigger picture, you can see how. Let me give you a little bit. You can see how those levels comes in line on the support area and this is, is a big hold if we want to look at the bigger picture we had a sell order before it happened sell order before it happened and then of course the game i mean here it is you know and then here the the bitcoin was on a neutral and then if we uh, if we take and then we had an early prediction because if we look at the 50 level it was those two bars here it was a play market movers and you can see it's right in line pulling back re-entry and confirming the support area and that it is not accident so what I'm trying to say first of all what we are looking here for the Bitcoin this is the deadline for the e uh, for the Bitcoin to drop, however, if those market movers try to push this market, you have the 35 level. This is the lower level. Yet, on the smaller time frame, folks, and this is where some of the media people they tell you not to be scared and and uh, and not to be not to panic in there. And when you are looking at that chart, you're no longer panicking because you are looking at the technical and have this psychology personality on you. Uh, when you are trading, you become a cold-blooded trader. And, and, and uh, this is the level where it makes you feel secure. And then what you do, this is the bigger portion of the entry has to be and maybe 25 percent in here in case if this market is going to drop to the 36 but i doubt it very seriously for this bitcoin go below the 39 level to confirm that i can look at the 15 minutes and i can see this is the double support once you see the double support on the fibonacci our Fibonacci's are different than the other ones. You see, this is confirmation that this Bitcoin is going to stay there. To just examine a little bigger picture, if we look at the 30 minutes, this is much more than confirmation. The 40 level, it will be bottom up, and then the, the, the Bitcoin is going to go up, and then here is your uh, first step to purchase the second step the final step is right there at 36 level which in conjunction with the daily chart so there is no panicking on the Bitcoin if we look at the ethereum which um, uh, you can see exactly I'm using 15 minutes and then you can see right now now it is uh, uh 1647 uh 210921 and this is a confirm the 27 level it is a support area and this is where you need to enter the ethereum to confirm that we can go also look at the 30 minutes and to just confirm and then we can see from the 15 minutes you enter partial of your Bitcoin and then we can see on the 30 minutes the next level it will hold on the 25 level which I doubt it is gonna go there and here is the secret it's like the ES on the future trading if the Bitcoin hold on that level here at 40 level does mean the Ethereum is not gonna go to the 25 level then 
the immediate entry and the start position it will be around the 27 level if we wanted to go on the one hour to look at the bigger level we can go on the one hour just to see where is or are those level and you can see it's around the 25 level for the ethereum so this is all eyes are holding on the key right now on the bitcoin is right here gentlemen is right there it has to the bitcoin hold in this area which when you see too many lines too many support area and there that can give you the green light to the other cryptocurrency like ethereum or some other ones here so the bitcoin is the oxygen for the rest of the cryptocurrency so now if we want to go back uh, to the 15 minutes the immediate entry as we see we now we have identify if this bitcoin stay on that level the ethereum is gonna go around 2700 if this uh, bitcoin is gonna drop farther which i doubt it very seriously then the next portion of your money has to go a little bit here and uh, and the rest of it on the 2500 level or if you want to this is how you do it 25 percent here 25 percent here 25 percent here one of the things when you do that let's say you got filled on the first 25 percent and then the market turn out, turn around you are a happy trader you can cash in there's a plenty signal indicate where you need to exit as an example if you entered here on the bitcoin at 40 level you can easily exit at 45 level partial of it and then 48 and 50 if you want to do that if we want to talk to cardano and this is the same thing here look at it it's all in line gentlemen is all in line if we look at cardano here is right at the support area in conjunction with the bitcoin if this bitcoin gonna drop cardano is gonna go down and if it's the uh, the bitcoin is gonna stay on that level it is a beautiful place to enter the market is it it is beautiful the way if you concentrate on the bigger gorilla and uh, and you f you see the others when you see the the, the bitcoin is on, on a certain hard support area or a resistant area this is where the action has to be has to be taken so uh, those are my level and uh, we have a lot of requests to uh, give a, a, to give some lights uh, what's going on and uh, I, um, I hope this one was helpful I'm sorry with my voice uh, it's been a long day 16 hours work with the other future trading so um, um, and we will see tomorrow what happened and uh, maybe um, if we have time uh, tomorrow evening uh, I will be it will be my pleasure to share uh, my levels with you uh, I want you to stay safe and uh, the only recommendation I, I have for you guys uh, is try to stay technical more than to uh, be driven by rumors and panicking you know that's what they want you to do in any given market they want you to panic and uh, you should not panic uh, when you are trading and when you believe in the technical side those people that cannot penetrate your fears so the psychology behind that is very important to get stronger and don't let those guys make you panic there is so many rumors out there uh, on the internet somebody have seen an elephant flying it does not mean an elephant will fly so uh, in my experience uh, I don't listen to rumors I listen to my fib line I'll, uh, I'll look at my chart and I focus on the technicals once you once you do that uh, your fears start disappearing uh, I hope this uh, uh, video is a help and uh, and uh, let's see what we have explained today let's see the result for tomorrow I want to say thank you very much God bless you all 
and I wish you very safe trading. Again, we're not uh, your financial advisor. We're just trying to help you. Thank you.